ओके एम आई ऑडिबल यस जस्ट टू चेक दैट वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग प्रॉपरली ओके सो लास्ट डे वी सॉ हाउ टू फाइंड द फोर फंडामेंटल सब स्पेसिस ऑफ अ मेट्रिक्स एंड वी सॉ वी ऑल्सो शोड आई we also showed different matrices and how their fundamental subspaces are null spaces the dimension how the null space and the row space are orthogonal how the column space and the row and the null space of a transpose is orthogonal and so on okay so uh, the, so what i'll start today is with i'll start with uh, one example that will help you to understand I'll help you to Uh, motivate you these problems of elimination mode so there are till now how many cases of elimination did we see we use elimination to find the null space we use elimination to solve a uh, linear system of equations right these two cases any more these two okay so and uh, last day there was a confusion in class ki saying uh, once you do uh, so the idea is uh othri you were asking this is right so e a of x right does the null space does the column space remain the same right ha uh, yes remain the same so the answer is no obviously no why can you tell me so once you multiply e a right so you can write yes or no as this you can रो स्पेस डेंज Row space, and what else does it not change? Null space, right? This two it does not change. Null space we already saw yesterday, last time that a x equal to zero means a x is also equal to zero. Yes or no? Ah uh, yes. So we'll see today. What? So you can also recall, right? So the row space, row space. How? What is the sub? What is the subspace of R to the power? So if A is a matrix M by N matrix, what is the subspace of R to the power N? R to the power M. Row space is a subspace of N. R to the power N, right? Not M. Row N, space of the N. N numbers. And orthogonal to it, we'll see today why it is orthogonal. Is the is the null space, which is also a subspace of be practicing i'll give you a assignment also it will be much clearer yes agreed and see yes. both are these are subspaces of rn and both of these are not changed together with a elimination operation right so they must be related in some form we already saw that what is the dimension of the row null row, row space it was r right by row reduce echelon form we saw that the rank Yes. I'm going. I'm just revising this in case you don't remember. Just stop me because these I expect you to know right now. And so this was seen to be n minus r, right? And we saw them; they were mutually exclusive, right? They were. They were. Like uh, row space of A intersection the null space of A was only the zero space, zero vector, right? This was what we saw. Yes. Last time, correct. now Moinangda, today what i'll do yeah null space ta we yeah. will be a subspace of r to the power of m hobe na m hobe na small m okay. hobe na m a a null space ta will be a subset of r r to the power m hobe na m for monkey which which one null space of a yes why because it's a linear combination of the columns the columns so how many elements are required to take linear combination of columns 
uh, linear. So, uh, we, how many uh, columns are there? There are n columns. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Other, uh, other, other clear with it? No. Uh, yeah, don't. Yeah. One more thing is that, uh, but uh, each uh, column has m elements, right? Each column has m elements. That's why the column space of A is the subspace of R to the power m. We are not writing column space of A here. It's column space of it's the row space we are writing. Acha. Okay. I'm telling it's a row space from the beginning. We, I, we said that the column space will change. Column space. Go back and see the image that I drew last time. Column space is orthogonal to the null space of we wasted half an hour last time trying to see that the column space and null space are not exactly related to one another. If their dimensionality yeah. mismatch, then they're not at all related. If they dimensionality match, they can have common elements. We saw that. Yes, so the uh, null space also equates a linear combination of the uh, columns to zero, right? Yes. So it also sh should be R to the power M, right? Dimension. Are what? What is what? You are not seeing the definition properly. We wrote x such that a x is equal to zero is the null space of a. It's not the. What information will you get from a x equal to zero? That is already zero. Yes. 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 It's fine. It's the it's the vectors. Yeah, but the column space of a is the result of the vector yes. multiplication. Hmm. Please see the definition. This is 100 times I should say it last time. Okay. Others clear again? Yes. Okay. So uh, now you tell me. So uh, we'll see another uh, example where we can use this. So this is called the uh, inverse finding problem. So all that uh, all the cases we you have done in school is a exponential time algorithm. Adjoint, remember, right? 1 by a adjoint of a determinant of a was your inverse you did in school, right? Yes. But we'll not do that because we know elimination now. How will we do it? So, do you see this now? So, if I write a tilde as augmented matrix and I write a and I augment it with an identity matrix. So, you have in your syllabus receive block matrices or residual matrices. These are all block matrix multiplications. So I will not be showing you all this at the syllabus at separate thing. We'll just see it here directly. This is your I augment this. So what is the dimension of A augmented with I? Say, but for inverse, A must be R and N, right? A must be N cross N for inverse to exist. You cannot have uh, rectangular yeah. matrix. So what is this dimension? A tilde dimension? 2N cross N. N cross 2N. Number of rows is? Yes or no? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Ever ball, I mean, if I multiply E such that E tilde, so E, if I multiply E, will be of what dimension? Um, uh, one cross n. E has an elimination matrix we saw last time. What's oh, up? Uh, n cross n. Good. We saw it last time. Now number of rows it will be equal to. Now, what I can write this as? E a into e. Yes or no? People may tell you the method, but it will not tell you why it is true. You can write this. Yes. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Because they are just, I'm just, what am I doing? I'm just taking the linear combination of the rows. So it's equivalent to taking the linear combination of the first half and the linear combination of the second half. You don't disagree with me, right? They're, these don't mix with one another when I do row operations. Don't mix on row operations. Yes or no? Do you agree? Yes. Good. So 
if if e is equal to a inverse what will happen that will become i i a inverse good so if i can do elimination from a tilde to this i will get my inverse matrix in the place of i if i can guarantee a gauss jordan elimination of i on the left yes or no agreed yes e multiplication yeah. of e is nothing but doing gauss jordan elimination yes or no we saw that yeah so this is all we need to do so then you tell me one of you please volunteer and tell me how to find the inverse of this matrix 1461040200 what is the first step i'll do uh, augment with i 1110000000 then next step r2 equals to r r2 plus r1 okay so i will i will not go i'm not going to write eliminate eliminating i'm not going to write the operations if not necessary okay so now tell me what will be the second one second row will become 8 right and minus 8 yes yes and third row will be 6 comma minus 12 yes or no please do the calculation with me i may do some mistakes which you which many people can check correct is this all right ah uh, yes yes now uh, uh othrish told me the first step we now uh, prathul tell me the second step what will i do um yeah so we'll move uh, diagonally to 8 as the uh, okay pivot. and then and then we will do r3 is equal to r3 plus r2 so what will i get 1806 6, 6 6 right yes 4 and 6 correct yes uh, no i guess uh, that's going to be and what will i get here uh, i'll get 1 minus 6 yes sir Minus one one minus one 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 zero one zero one zero zero. Okay. Next, what will I do now? All my pivots are ready with me. Next step. Ramuji, next step. Next step. No, Ramuji, are you there? I think he's not there. Okay. Next step. What will we do? next step we will uh, means uh, eliminate the elements above the pivots to uh, zero okay so first above a we will do r1 equals to r1 yeah i think romuji's voice is uh, a bit inaudible can you hear me yeah you will uh, what you'll do is uh, okay you can uh, i think you can resolve the mic issue and then come back some issue with your mic so this 6 i can add right i have to when i go diagonally like this i have to go back in jordan elimination upwards that's how we did it right othri you so you had solved that example and given that in the group ah uh, yes So what will I do? Six minus six zero zero. Yes or no? And why? How did I do it? I just added R three to R two and R one. Yes or no? Hmm. Yes. So what will happen now? Minus one zero zero. Correct. One two one. Yes or no? Yes. And one one one. Next step. Will be one zero. Uh, one zero zero zero. 
zero eight zero 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 minus six. Now on the right hand side, what did I do? Let me write this step once. R one minus half R two, right? This is what I did. Ah uh, yes. So the first, this does not change. One two zero. This becomes. Please for please tell me if there is a mistake. Okay. Correct. Is this okay? Okay. So now the last step will be. What will I do? The last step. I'll divide throughout the this second row by eight. So when I divide by eight, I get by eight by eight by eight. Divide this by minus six minus six minus six minus. So this so this is your inverse, right? A inverse will be zero zero half zero one by four one by eight minus one by six minus one by six or rather one by six minus one by six at minus one by six. Just to check the calculation once in case there is some mistake, but this. But now you see this is just O and Q operations as we discussed last time, right? From an exponential time algorithm, correct? Yes. Okay. If you have understood, so we have shown this process helps. We have found the inverse. Finally. O3 is the first day. What did you ask me? You asked me what happens if the number of equations and unknowns are different? What happens if number of equations is more? If the number of equations are lesser than the number of unknowns? If the number of unknowns is more than the number of equations? You had asked me this. If you are trying to solve a system of equations. Mm, yes. Let us see this case. So this too will be your homework. Oh, hello, Moinanta. Uh, so um, in the earlier when we found out the uh, inverse, we said that if e is equal to a inverse, then e a e a is equal to i a inverse. So um, in that thing, if e is equal to a inverse, then we know that e is an upper triangular matrix. And so it it is not true. Now here you have done Jordan elimination also. Only if you do row uh, Gauss elimination, then it, then it is true. If Achha. you are trying to remove lower from upper, then it is not true. Okay, okay. Carefully Fine. see what steps we are doing. Okay, so for m greater than n and n n less than n, we will you I'll, I'll I'll hope that you can do it. I'll do the most general case that if m equal to n equal to r and m equal to n is greater than r. So this is the most general case that you can find. And the rest is you can easily do by taking R accordingly. So let's do this. Okay. So what is the question? A X equal to B. Okay. Is given to me. A is N cross N X. And B is N cross one. Okay. If A is invertible, what will happen? What is the rank of A? If A is invertible, we just now saw N only. Very good. It will the go all the way. Yes, is equal to number of pivots, equal to number of all columns, is equal to all columns. A number of, just write N. All columns will have pivots, right? Good. So then you can easily write X is equal to A inverse B. X is unique. Case one. This is the trivial case you solve in school. Case two, and the most general case ever. The other two you can do similarly, which I'll do. If rank is less than N, then what will happen?
then what yeah then then a will not be invertible ha ah, but uh, will that mean that it will not x will not have any solution invertible and all i know those are class 11 x and all the thought ha huh? will not be unique x will not be unique these are this is again a very bad answer invertible noy tai in by unique hobe na dekhei hoye jacche what how will i find the answer so let us check see like after elimination we will get exactly r once hmm. and then uh, we can uh, find some equations you are right in the number of elimination process so do you remember how did we solve x equal to b we augmented the matrix again yes or no correct again if i multiply e i will get ea equal to eb yes or no correct yes this is n cross 1 this is n cross m now if inverse exists e is equal to what is it e is equal to a inverse correct Yes or no? Yes. And you will get i comma a inverse b. This is what we got in the first class, first example that we solved. We perform the elimination, and then we we have after joining elimination, or please only you only uploaded it on the chat. If you have not seen, go back and see the chat he uploaded. He did the this is the cross joining elimination, right? you got 1 1 1 and so your x1 x2 were direct solutions of a inverse b yes or no can this was your solution 2x yes don't fall silent if you have a question ask and then i'll go to the next part if you have understood this Yes. Any questions? You will not understand if it is if you don't understand this step. Okay. There's no no question. So if E is not invertible, then what will happen? What will happen due to elimination? Like some ones and some columns, we cannot. Uh, the path pivot Good. will be zero. You will have i and f, and you will have some zeros on the below it. Yes or no? Hmm. Yes. Now you see if this e b that you have over here do not have zeros here, no zeros. if say you have let us write this part as some chi if chi not equal to 0 then what will happen if chi not equal to 0 what will happen so zero then can't be equal to chi on the Very good. other side so this is 0 into x1 plus 0 into are you following so you have 0 0 0 0 0 0 so 0 x1 plus 0 x2 plus 0 x3 dot 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 0 xn will be equal to some chi j which is not equal to 0 so this is no solution right do you agree clear so the left hand side is equal to zero rhs is not equal to zero so no solution not following or following uh, yes now you tell me if 
chi is equal to zero for all for all elements. What will happen? Case two. Case two b is i f. You have a zero over here, and you have some. Let us write as chi one and chi chi. This is zero. Okay. If this happens, what will happen? So basically, the we will get that i f equals to e b equals to a chi one. Very good. So you will get i f and chi one. So what is the dimension of i f matrix? Um, R cross n. N cross. About n cross n. So what are we doing? What is the dimension of this? How many i? How many ones are there? This is R. This is n minus R, m i or n minus R. N is equal to n. Yes or no? Yeah, the there might be multiple. Is it not equal to the rank? Zero rows, right? Yes. Yes, yes. If that is R, then n minus R. Okay. So now tell me, Othij, what it to which question does it boil down to? Do you recognize this question? This is equivalent to saying. More unknowns. This is why I said I'll solve the general case and less equations. Yes or no? Do you agree? Yeah, yes, yes. Good. Now, if this happens, I will tell you one very nice way to solve this. So, then this case, what will happen? Do you can you give me a brief, brief idea like? Do you think? Can you think about it? How what will end up happening? Uh, like from do you have an idea? So you are you have huh? yeah, from my ahead. experience of solving questions that we have to means uh, we have to set some variables to constants. So I think set it will be n too? minus. Uh, we have to set some variables to some constants, and which on varying we have infinite solutions. So, so that is so many many yes infinite solutions you will have true, but that is so your class eleven and twelve ways of doing things. That so I know you can do. But I'm saying how do you saw so use the tools I have taught you till now and then solve it. See, I will show you. This is a new matrix that you have, right? Correct. Now, as you are telling me, say I have a particular solution that I can construct. I just need R of these, right? So I can put all of these f to zero, corresponding to f. Yes or no? This I can just ones. put. Push the one down. No, push the one down. No. So let us write this equation as. Let us me. Let me write this as b equal to. A one one, A one two, dot dot dot, O A one n, A R one, A R two, dot dot dot, A R n, and say this is R cross R, and this is your say Y one, Y two, Y R. Understood? Now, do you understand this? Yes. This is the equivalent thing. Let me write a particular solution as. And these are ones, right? After elimination, I have made all of these to ones. Ones, yeah. Yes or no? Good. So now, what is my what is my i? So you, what do you have? So you have x one plus some coefficient a r plus one x r plus one plus a r plus two x r plus two. Yes or no? Dot 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 equal to y one. X r one. X R plus uh, yes yes. This first row equation I just wrote it out. Mm, yes. I will set all these X R plus one equal to X R plus two dot 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 X R uh, X N X N to zero. If I set them to okay. zero. Fine. I will get x one equal to y one. Yes, yes. So 
do you agree this is a particular solution xp i am going to write that y1 y2 dot 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 yr followed by 0 0 as o3 was telling me this is a particular solution for this system of equations this is one solution yes or no yes parth hmm. okay yes it's okay now but this is not the only solution why because the ax equal to 0 has a lot of solutions here right so if i just take this part of the matrix so let me write this as b tilde as i comma f how many solutions do they have do, does this have infinite this is our good so how many dimension is your null space n minus r very good n minus r dimension so you will have bx is equal to zero of n minus r dimensions right so this is the let me write this as x null as the set x null as the set of all x such that bx equal to zero so can i write x null plus xp is the x equal to uh, zero ta kano nichhe amra am bujhte pachhi na dekha chhi bujhte hobe na ekhon ekhon bujhte beshi matha khatashna ami je ekhon dhor ami ami jani ki ki question hote pare ami same jinish gulo matha diye gechi so let me finish eta ke dhor x thik ache okay is this okay? Is this for the time being? I'm taking this as a solution to all solutions. What are the steps required to find it? Steps are clear, right? The particular solution and null space, both solutions are clear. Why is it true? I will show you now. Is both of them clear? Partho, is it both uh, of them clear? Yeah. Dada, like um, the null space one that has n minus r solutions no i don't tell me the answer i if you have found the answer is good i will ask you no, then no, you tell I, me i uh. don't know the answer i am just uh. trying to guess i'm not uh. sure ball huh. so means xn uh, x such that bx equals to 0 that has n minus r solutions n minus r dimensional solutions bx equal to 0 has we saw na, alpha alpha into basis vector one plus beta into basis vector two. Last time we saw if there are f how if there are how many n minus r independent dependent variables. So n minus r of them we can set i and r respectively accordingly. Yes, ha, ha, ha. yes, yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Parthal, is this clear? How did I what the two parts that I wrote to the solution? Is that clear? No xn plus np is equal to what you wrote x all i have i'm not telling why it is x all it is all the solutions i'm not telling why it is x all i'm so just saying xn, I, is you, xn is the null space of the this matrix b matrix if okay, i don't consider this right null space means that minus f i which we took yes this is equal to minus f i Minus F I. That will be n, n minus R dimension. Null space for null space. Null space for calculate kote jani. Particular solution calculate kote jani. Sorry, what will I do now? Now you are asking me why am I taking the null space and the particular? This is what your question. Up to I will answer that question once you have understood the steps up to this. That is clear? Yes. Okay. So what is my initial question it is equal to bx is equal to chi yes or no or in this case say y if there is a overloading of notation or multiple notations please forgive me bx is equal to y yes or no yes is, is this is this what i want to solve i just want to solve for x yes or no yes so now let's put this value of x. What I have I written the value of x as? 
I am infringing on the next topic. B of plus N N plus X P. Yes. X P active X P acta vector. Yes or no? X P is one vector. Is a particular solution. B X N is a entire class of null spaces. This is always zero. Whatever, whichever element you take zero. from the null space, it will always be zero. And this will always be BXP, which was by definition equal to Y because it's a particular solution. Now, Uthrej, you do you understand? You, I think in the first, very first class, we had solved that gambler's ruling problem, and you had asked me why Uthrej or Partho, who had asked me that why are we taking two solutions? This is because of this. It will be a linear combination of all the solutions that is present. We'll also see a specific example where difference equations is used, and then it will be much more clearer. Understood. So you have so visually, how does it look in this case? Please go and do the other two cases. Visually, it looks like this. So you have null space. Okay, this is your null space that has to pass through the origin such that ax is equal to zero. Correct. Okay. Yes or no? Ah, yes. And I have a particular vector which may not be passing through the origin, but which may not be at the origin, right? Some particular vector. Correct? Acha, yes. So my new set, the X solution set is XP plus X such that for all x belongs to null space of a, yes or no? This is what we found. Acha, yes. So what will it be? So I will have one element here. So this will go up to, what am I writing? Wait, uh, this is your x particular. This is your x, na, x a, x zero, x particular. So you'll have a vector like this as XP plus X zero, right? Yes. So your entire plane will just be shifted to XP. That's what it will be. Parallelly shifted because you're adding the XP. It will be shifted via the vector XP. And that's your solution. And it is not a vector space since zero is not contingent. Uh -huh, exactly. Exactly. Good. So with that, we have understood everything with respect to linear equations, linear equations, solutions, the vector spaces, the null spaces, and uh, and the subspaces. I'll for just for Minata. warming up and uh, yeah. Null space ta n minus r dimensional to. xn. Dimension ta n minus r, but it is always in the dimension of r to the power m. It's the same dimension as a particular solution. Like the overall vector space is Rn only, right? It can be a lower dimension, like plane can be a null space in R3. I know three elements can be in a vector, but that that how can I say? Like if you have a 2D plane, y equal to mx plus c, y equal to mx is also a vector space. Yes or no? Yes. But you can have two coordinates there x and y but does that mean the line is two dimensional no we discussed this many times now in the first in the second class the number of independent vectors will give you the dimension of the space but the dimension of the space is not equal to the cartesian dimension or the the larger the vector space dimension it is the dimension of the subspace there are two things That's, here yeah. Isn't it? There are two things. That is, there's an overall space that is Rn, which is spanned by. Look at this. There is an overall space Rn, which is the column space of A transpose, and null space has it. But the column space of N transpose is at max can be R dimensional. Yes or no? Like the if we, you can always do an analog transformation to a R numbers instead of N numbers. Isn't That's it? Sure. For example. What does this mean? So if you have this y equal to mx line, I can always make this my x axis. Then only I will be requiring one line, one number or not. Should I require 
any point on this would be x comma y if i have to represent yes but if i but if i think if i transform this uh, basis set to just make this my x axis minus x to x minus Achha. infinity to infinity so the, it is just hmm. dependent on one line yes or no y equal to mx is just dependent y and x are related to one another they are not independent elements so it's a one dimensional play, one dimensional space in a two dimensional vector space right it's a two, one dimensional subspace in a two dimensional vector space oh so, uh, so the uh, uh, null space in this case of xn it's an n minus r dimensional uh, subspace, subspace in a 2n dimensional vector space right n dimensional where you are getting 2n Na, be, be, because x n is the number of uh, rows. Ko to. X n is? N. Rows are not dependent on the It is the number of columns the null space depends upon. You are confusing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you remove columns, it does rows, it does not matter to the null space, to the dimension, overall dimension of the null space. Now, mane, mane, the xn vector which you wrote, can you show once more? So, how many dimension is this, Babu? R dimension, this is n minus r, this is n my n dimensional only, na? It is xp, yes. This is xp, xp and xn will have the same dimensions. How can it have different dimensions? Acha means we are taking also the zeros into account over here, the lower zeros. Otherwise, how will you do? Are you talking about a solution to x1 to xn? You are not x1, x2, dot, 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 xn are n n variables. Are there solution to solve this? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Go back, see it, do it yourself. It may not be maybe 90% clear, but the 10% has to be your effort. Okay. Let us do a few questions. These two are your homework because I'll do away with these first two. This is already done, right? Not even a homework. Number three is done. Rank of A is equal to dimension of column space equal to dimension of A transpose. How did we do it? The number of uh, pivots which were uh, non zero. So which is equal to number of pivots, which is same for A and N transpose. We had seen this last time. Good. So this is done. Number two will be homework showing that null space of B is a subspace of null space of AB. Let's do the first question. Simply we'll do. Column space of AB is a subspace of column space of A. What do you think should be my steps to do this? What should I do? So basically, we will have all those AB, A, um, AX. Column space of A will have all those AXs. Um, and so, and the column space of AB will have those abxs so how will i show uh, it there is a subspace i have to show that column space of so if i draw a venn diagram how will it be column space of a is here column space of this is very important in your interview questions this this sees this is same as your propositional logic if people i may not have time to do propositional logic with you but this should give you the idea of how to do propositional logic so tell me if an element belongs to column say x belongs to column space of a b then what can i say x will belong to column space of a right to prove to prove one we need to show 
Do you understand this logic? This is yes. what mathematics is. We need to show if is it clear to others if X belongs to column space of B in the left hand side with subspace subset that should also belong to the superset, right? For all X, if I can show that, then I'm done. Yes. Okay. So now how can I show? So what would be my first step? Step one. Like what are Maybe? the dimension of B matrix N cross N? Good question. Now the column space of A and column space of AB. A can be A cross M cross N. B can be anything M cr N cross R and so on. But the but the column space will always be a subspace, right? It is the subspace that it is defined on. It need not be the superset it is on, right? And moreover, column number the it does not matter, right? A column space depends on the number of rows. Rows will not change here, right? Even the superset will not change. Does will it change? What is the dimensionality of AB? Oh, ha, 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 yes. M cross N, say B is N cross L. AB is M cross L. And this is M cross N. So it is the column space will be a subspace, subspace of M cross RM. And I'm saying that the, the rank of that rank will be less than the rank of A. Is it clear? Always think in terms that whenever I say column space, it should be first step elimination. Elimination, then use next step rank. Ne next step number of pivots. Okay. Yes. So step one, let X be column space of AB. So what can I write? Can you tell me? If X is in the column space of AB, how can I write X as? Some AB Y. So there exists a Y. What do your uh, voice broke? Does that? Does that X equal to AB Y? Good. Which is also equivalent to writing A into B Y. Yes or no? Correct? Yes. If I write by equal to some z, z then can equals I, to a, a z. A yes. Z. And so what can I write? Belongs to column space of A. Hence proved. This is how you prove logic. And if you had to show they are equal, what would you have done? It is not equal. In case you have to show them equal, then what you would have done? Uh, we would try to I'm prove the converse. You, say, as two sets are equal, is generally a difficult problem to so show. A strategy of showing sets, two sets are equal. What should be the strategy? A is a. Ha, ball. Okay, ball. Part two. Okay, ball. A is a subset of B. B is a subset of A. Good. It is important. This type of questions are asked, and they are simple questions, but you need to show both directions. Otherwise, teachers may ask you, professors may ask you, why are you showing one subset? Okay, good. So, one, two, three is done. Two, you please do rank of, I think, first after showing you the logic to do these proofs, two should be a cake work, like one liner. The number four is what I have been putting you on a cliffhanger on for a long time, right? Say the column space of A is the is perpendicular to null space of A transpose, and column space of A transpose is perpendicular to the null space of A. This is Dada. the cliffhanger, cliffhanger thing that. Uh, ball. Okay. I get a question. Chilo, shita holo je. Ah, uh, e Z. Ah, uh, jita column vector ta multiply kochi. Ota dimension hoche mm -hmm. L cross one. But L song is a column. L cross one, L cross one, both of you both is L, Y, Z, 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 Z
তো আমি বলছি যখন মানে অন্য কলম স্পেস বের করার জন্য যে কলম ভেক্টরটা মাল্টিপ্লাই করা হচ্ছিল ওটা ডাইমেনশন হচ্ছিল এন ক্রস ওয়ান তাহলে এখানে এল ক্রস ওয়ান মাল্টিপ্লাই করলে মানে সেটা কি অ্যালাউড তাই আমি জানতে চাইছি তো বি এর ডিমেনশন ইজ ইজ হোয়াট ইট ডিপেন্ডস অন না দ্য ডিমেনশন অফ বি ইজ এম ক্রস এল এন ক্রস এল দেন ইফ ইউ মাল্টিপ্লাই আ ভেক্টর সো উইশ সো দিস না হোয়াট ইজ দ্য হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ইস্যু সে উই ইউ হ্যাভ অলওয়েজ থিংক ইন দ্য টার্মস অফ দ্যাট হোয়াট উইচ হোয়াট উই সেড আমি <laughs> and what will be the output of this only depends on the this m right mm, yes one, this is what you will do in neural networks neural networks are also nothing but doing this multiplication let me just write it again star x1 a1 x a11 x1 a12 x2 plus a13 x3 is equal to y1 right a12 a21 x1 a m1 x1 a m3 x3 so the input is input is what x1 x2 x3 right agreed ha uh, yes what is the output dimension y1 Achha. y2 it depends on the number of it depends on the dimension of the column space because we are taking the linear combination of the columns with the input right ha uh, yes not column space but the dimension of rm should i should write column space can be a subspace also of rm okay two more small questions because before we go into projections the last part of uh, like the second half of linear algebra that is required for machine learning okay let me just uh, write this number 4 and number 5 i'll remember good number 2 today's date is 28 3 24 okay my question is column space of column space of a transpose is perpendicular to or column space of a is perpendicular to null space of a transpose what figured what is the diagram that we had seen before we had seen this diagram do you remember what is the dimension what is this what dimension what space is column space of a or subspace of r power r r power m m number of rows good i used to get a lot of lot of con lot confused in these things but you need not what is that it is a subspace of null space of a transpose is also r, r power m right yes or no yes okay <coughs> now my question is how do i show this that that my column space and my nose null space is orthogonal what should be my strategy again logic wise should i be able to say if x belongs to column space of a and y belongs to null space of a transpose x transpose y equal to 0 for a all x y then will it be proved 
না দুখানা স্পেস যদি অর্থ গণন হয় তো মানে এনি টু ও আচ্ছা ভেক্টরস মাস্ট হ্যাভ পারফেক্ট মাস্ট বি পারপেন্ডিকুলার আই হ্যাভ নট ইয়েট টট দিস मींस এক্স ডট ওয়াই আই উইল শো ইউ ওয়াই বাট ইওর ইন ইওর ইন টার্মস অফ ইওর ভেক্টর অফ ক্লাস 11 এন্ড 12 দিস मींस এক্স ডট ওয়াই ওকে সরি ফর নট গোইং ডট প্রোডাক্ট দ্যাট বিফোর ইয়া is it okay utre you are okay, you are okay with dot product so we are just saying that x transpose y is the dot product let us see here only why it is the dot product x1 x2 dot 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 xm this is x transpose and y1 y2 dot 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 yn x2 y2 dot 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 xm yn yes or no Uh, yes, this, is yes. A, this is this is equivalent to saying the dot product so this x transpose y must be equal to 0 now how will i show that if my question my question is x belongs to the column space of a so what can i write 100 times i'm doing this what will i do first step step 1 x equal to a y for there exists a y such that yes. such that this is true right what else why no why i have already written let me write z okay there exists a z such that a, a, x is equal to az right this is okay okay so it is now next step is if i multiply y transpose on both sides what will happen y transpose a z this is equal to y transpose a into z what is y transpose a a zero a zero yes so y is in an all space of a transpose means a transpose y equal to zero it means y transpose a equal to zero so we have shown that they are orthogonal similarly column space is similarly null space is orthogonal to row space okay the last question here is this is a very nice question rank of a plus b is less than equal to rank of a plus rank of b okay so i forgot to complete the first question sorry the first question says that is it a b likhle rank of a b likhle a plus b this uh, minimum uh, the rank of a is less than equal to minimum of a and m and n we have seen this by pivots you can also prove this by prove this by rank of ab identity please go back if you are interested you can see this video and prove it by rank of ab identity i am not going to do it it's not that important for your syllabus but if you are interested go back and do it okay so then this step is clear right so i forgot to tell you so if column space of ab is less is the subset of column space of a rank of ab will be less than equal to rank of a yes or no yes correct good so what should happen what should it happen i can also use this to prove that minimum thing like Ball number of independent linearly independent uh, good so dimension of column space we just put dimension on both sides rank is nothing but dimension equal to right yes or no if i ah, put yes. the dimension of the column good can i use this equation to prove number 6 eta mathay elo ekkhuni kore feli tar pore the number 5 ta korbo ota ei bhabe na korleo cholbe ki hoy bolbo how will i do it So let us do this. Rank of a a is less than equal to 
minimum of m comma n, where a is r to the power m cross n. How will I do this? I can use one identity I already found. We don't even need the other one. Any ideas? Are very easy. Rank of A into I. Yes or no? <laughs> Hello. Mm, yes. Okay. So rank of A into I, what would it give me? It's less than equal to rank of <laughs> Is less than equal to what? Rank of um, rank, rank of, of A. I. Okay, you can also write rank of A. Rank of A can be. Let me write I on the left hand side. I A cross M cross N M cross M. Okay. I can write this. Ah, yes, yes the rank of I. Rank of I, which is equal to M. Yes or no? Yes, it rank is equal to I. And Good. Similarly, you can also show. We have shown that rank of A equal to rank of A transpose. Yes or no? Yes. Uh, will this help and cross M? Okay, it will help. It is equal to rank of A transpose. Yes or no? We have shown this. Because yes, it is same as the column space dimension. Why? Why mm -hmm. is it true? I think you can get it right. This is equal to dimension of column space of A transpose. Which is equal to column space yes. of dimension of, that is equal to rank of A. So this I can also write as rank of A transpose into I N cross N. Yes or no? Rank of A transpose into I it, N cross N. It, yeah, yeah. Yes. Which is less than equal to rank of I N. Which is less than equal to A. Oh. So therefore, rank of C. So I this just came to my mind just now. I thought it is nice to like keep it documented. I didn't never did it this way. Really weird. When I be, uh, uh, what I had seen up to now is that rank of a square matrix A is less than equal to N. But the general case M comma N, I haven't seen this. Uh, so this is also this is there, but the proof is very. I thought that this proof just now came to my mind. I thought. It, that means yes, I will forget it later on. So I just put it. I hope you like the proof. Nice. So now the last one before we go into projections and so on. And the uh, remaining like 30% of the probability of linear algebra is rank of A plus B less than equal to rank of A plus rank of B. Give you an intuition. Say A equal to B equal to minus A. Right. Case one and case two is B equal to A. So what will the rank of zero be? Zero, right? Correct. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Rank of A plus rank of B, the both are rank of 2 into rank of A. If A is equal to B, rank of 2B is equal to, or 2A is equal to rank of A. Yes or no? Yes. Does not matter if I multiply a matrix with a scalar. My auto operations would just be same, right? To get my 
reduced form, rho reduced echelon form. Is it clear? So I'm just trying to show you that this is true, trying to intuit. But how do I solve this? That's the question. That begs the answer. Any question, any doubts? And like any ideas how to do this? Like, can we uh, show the comments, the combined contradiction that if we uh, contradiction? What will you go by contradiction? Uh, since we are adding a B, so they should be of same dimension. And if we get something of same dimension and then uh, means we are getting rank of A and rank of B. OK, that is of same dimension. So if it is greater, it cannot be because then it will violate the last one. That yeah, is meaning of true, M4. but I think it's not a very constructive way of proving it. I think it's there's a very, very nice constructive way. What is rank of A plus B mean? What is the Achha, definition of rank? Uh, Paul. So rank of A plus B K. I mean, oh, I'm your type. Now, but there is a small. Do you remember from last time? What did we write? Dimension of X plus Y as. Remember, right? Where these were subspaces? Yes. Minus dimension of X plus dimension of Y minus dimension of X intersection Y. But I have a problem here. Can you tell me? I cannot use this directly. Why? I could have used this directly. See, if, if this is left hand side is dimension of column space of A plus column space of B, I can use it directly. Yes or no? Dimension of column space of A plus dimension of column space of B minus dimension of column space of A intersection column space of B. Yes or no? I could have used it directly because these are subspaces. Yes. So then this is rank of this is less than or equal to rank of A plus rank of B, right? Rank of A plus. Yeah, sure. This is greater than zero always. That's the idea. It can never be less than zero. So I'm dropping that term. All right. Yes. yes. Dimension is always greater than zero. My question is, but I have what? I have dimension of column space of A plus B and not column space of A plus column space of B. What will how will I change column space of A plus B to column space of A plus column space of B? Fine. So for any uh, column space of A plus B, so so I will have A plus B in all the X's in the column space of A plus B will be uh, there exists some Y such that X equal to a plus b into y. I can break it up into a y plus a uh, b y. Good, good, very good. So what do you what do you uh, come up from this? So you say that your idea is saying that column space of a plus b is a subset of column space of a plus column space of b, right? Yes. That's what you said generally. Say x belongs to column space of a plus b. You can write this as a plus b z, right? Yes. So, so I can. X plus, can uh, be so which is also a subspace of column space of A, which also belongs to column space of A plus column space of B. Correct? Yes. Therefore, now we need to prove the converse, I guess. We don't need to prove the converse. Why? You have to because it's an inequality. The converse is not true, also. We don't need to prove also. Yeah. Why? Because it is a subspace of column space of A plus column space of B. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So I can write call dimension of column space of or rank of A plus B as dimension of column space of A plus B less than equal to dimension of column space of A as column space of B, which is even less than equal to rank of A plus rank of B. Correct? Yes or no? Understood? Hmm. 
This is just yes. trying to build your mathematical logic. And this may be very useful for your exams because people may give you these identities hidden anywhere. Like two in a numerical type question, they can give you two ranks are there. Which of the following dimensions can be a possible rank of the matrix? But is that is a different uh, exam is a different thing. I don't like exam teaching for exam, but then you could have just learned the formula. But when you are doing the sum, you are understanding every concept and you are using them, and also building your mathematical logic. Proving up to twelve is not that essential. After class twelve, you need to go towards doing proofs. Because that gives you an acumen to understand logic, both physics, mathematics, and computer science everywhere. Okay, enough of um, speaking ranting. Let us go to some special matrices that we set out to do today. I have half an hour, forty minutes with me. I can complete up to. Let me see. I think I can complete up to eigenvectors and eigenvalues. We can complete eigenvalues and super singular values next class. Okay. So my first question is, uh, first type of matrix. Now forget. Now we till now what have we done? Till now. Till now we have done what? We have done transformations. Linear equations, vector spaces. Now we'll be seeing what are the tools of this gives me. What are the tools I get from transformations? What type of transformations can I do? Can I do projections? How matrices help me do projections? How does it let me do translations? People doing computer science would be doing. Uh, Graphics in graphics, you'll be doing translations and so on. So, how can we do that? Is the question. So, first thing I told you just now projections. Let's forget vector calculus, vector algebra now, linear algebra for the time being, and remember our old good days of class 11 and 12. So, say in your exam, you were asked project a vector u onto v. What would you have been doing? So projections, why is it important? Because projections help you project onto. So AX is also projection into what? We'll see this later in details when we do PCA. Projection into column space of A, right? Right, we project X into column space of A, yes or no? Whatever X is, AX would lie ah. in the column space. Yes, yes, yes. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, like Moinanta, you also told the thing that AX equal to B has solutions if B lies in the column space of A. Exactly. I did not I did not come to it uh, directly, but I showed you in that M equal to any thing. It has yes. to lie in the column space. So yes. the idea what oh, very nice observation that it, I thought I will do it during I will I was doing linear regression, but anyways, AX equal to B can only have solution if B is somewhere here out of plane. Can you have solutions of B? This is the column space of A. Can you have X is that solve for B? Geometry, this is the geometry. No, I think. Why do you think? What is? Uh, AX, AX is the, Achha, the set of all uh, yes. AX. All possible linear combinations of A. So you cannot take any linear combinations of A to get B. So you have no solutions, right? This can also be a good question. They can give you a vector that is out of plane and tell you if there is a solution. Right? If it is out of out of plane, it will not have any solution. And how to put it back to the plane is the question in projection. And that is the question of linear linear regression. We'll see that in linear regression, but let us do a simpler case here. Uh, ball. Achha, mane ekhane, so this B, mane, if it is said that uh, AX equal to B, solution nahi, 
we already know because it is not in the uh, column space so to in order to make that we have solution solutions have i can do a mean square error yes i can project it onto av like i used to do in so class do. in my yes not av i will will see what we'll do av is not the right way to do it we'll see how we'll do it not right. av we'll see how to project the minimize the error this must be perpendicular that's the idea right and i would need this vector right geometrically if you remember your 2d calculus 3d calculus 3d geometry yes or no there's nothing to know also from a point the perpendicular dropped is the minimum error right minimum distance from a plane to a line to a point right yes okay so now if i go back to my uh, beautiful school days what would happen to if i if you are told to project u want to v what would you do tell me and then i will go back i will come back to my college days first let me go back to school days and project it back what would we do we will yes. take the dot product we would take the dot product or we would do something like this is how physics the first day of physics class class 11 is taught you do u mod of u cos theta right is the magnitude of this right let me write u project into v vector yes or no this is how you wrote correct any mm. questions i take the i take the magnitude of u right base by hypotenuse is equal to cos theta hypotenuse is the magnitude of u so base is equal to u cos theta right so this is how you defined your dot product how did you define your dot product your definition was u dot a unit vector is equal to u into cos theta theta between u and v yes or no this is how you define the dot product okay on the same page or not can i proceed yes okay so if i ask you so you have already told me the answer in your school days so in terms of your school days up is u vector into your v unit vector along v right yes which is nothing but u vector with v vector by the magnitude of the v vector yes or no yes no questions good now we will see how to relate this is this is this was the length right length of the vector correct which was equal to v1 square plus v2 square dot dot, dot vn square you can see general lengths of order p in my previous course so this is called a l2 norm l2 norm i have generalized lp norms in my previous course in previous course but cartesian normal euclidean norm is u l2 norm right x square plus y square yes or no if you have to find a vector's length you just do y v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square where the vi is are the components of the vector yes or no Yeah, you are muted. Any questions? No, 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 no questions. No. Okay. So my question is, I know to write these in terms of um, square roots and dot products. Can I write it in terms of? Because your I normally in your uh, physics you use only three or four basis vectors, right? I, J, K, or in relativity time, but in mathematics there can be thousands of 
thousands of uh, number thousands of cartesian co components so in that case uh, we cannot use ijkl we learn we run out of uh, unit vectors so that's why we wrote in terms of column vectors right so my question is how do i <coughs> convert this column vector to a length of the column vector can you tell me othrish how do i say this is a column vector how do i say v is equal to v1 v2 dot 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 vn how do i convert this to v1 squared plus v2 squared dot dot dot, dot vn squared like we can multiply with v1 v2 vn a uh, row vector good v1 v2 vn row vector with a column vector this is nothing but v transpose v right ah yes, yes. this is what you said yes okay. sir so this is called a l2 norm just keep that in mind people may tell you you this is an l2 norm and so on lp norms in general please go back if you want interested we have done this extensively in the previous course and we have shown various properties using lp norms we may touch upon these in our machine learning classes but for the time being let's just do lp l2 norms so we also saw that your u dot v is equal to u1 v1 plus u2 v2 dot 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 u n v n is nothing but equal to u transpose v yes or no right yes so now if if i have to write this projection matrix in terms of u and v in terms of vectors uh, in terms of linear algebra what will i write let us find this like once and for all let's derive this and show that it is the same right so if this was your v say, say this is what i required let me write this as lambda v okay just v because it's uh, vectors now these are all vectors we are not going to put arrows anymore and this is u so can you tell me how can i get an equation to solve for lambda this will also solve the same question that we did a bit earlier so u dot b, b by a mod v is equal to ah that a. is the direct answer but i'm just saying no dot nothing say this How is the like error vector now ah, this is this you have already done in your 11 and 12 finding the minimum height from a plane to a point you solve it this way shouldn't forget man what is it if this is the error vector error plus lambda v is equal to u yes or no uh u minus lambda v error vector is u minus lambda v correct triangle law yes yeah yeah that's what i wrote i wrote this to this good so now what can i do for the optimal solution e transpose v will be zero yes or no uh be perpendicular distance tan correct so yes perpendicular right so u minus lambda v transpose or just let me put v transpose this both are same this is easier to calculate this is equal to v transpose u by yes or no this is what you were saying a bit before yes directly you told me this but i also found the value of lambda right so lambda v is or the projection up 
is equal to v transpose u yes or no <laughs> correct yes now i will do a trick what i was projecting so this is this is the projection this is no there is this is done if you are told to find the projection you are done so first step is done my second step is you have to find the projection matrix that is projection matrix is defined as pu will be equal to up or your u projected onto u proj to v how do i find this p the projection matrix are you following everyone following otherwise hmm yes so how will i find p so p um u up up if i have to project onto v then uh, it will be pv uh, transpose left hand side should be up right left side should be up and i know it yes. is equal to v v transpose u right yes by that <laughs> which is the scalar we have already seen that right it's a square root yes. square of the each number sum together yes right? now i want to write it in terms of u right u must be outside correct yes so what is it v v transpose by i can just put this outside so my projection matrix is v v okay, transpose uh, by ot otai to uh, unit vector ta na in a direction of v na ki this is not a unit vector unit vector is this u by v by v2 this is the oh. unit vector yes but this is what this is a matrix right yes you can see why it is a matrix others like oh, only o3 is there o3 Ah, means is it a matrix? If we see as a matrix, V is one uh, row vector and V T is column vector like that. But uh, but we also one, prove one the circuit. we also prove the relation that V dot V T is equals to uh, mod V square. That is why I am having a little confusion. That is V transpose V, right? V transpose V is this. Yes or no? we prove oh, this acha 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 yes yes but v v transpose is called a rank one matrix let's see why so rank one matrix this is what v this is v say r1 rank one n cross n yes or no v v transpose is different so v1 v2 vn v1 v2 vn right This is V V transpose. Ha ha ha. Okay. Yes yes yes. N cross n. Ever there? Ever there? Tell me, what is this? First to the first column multiply. Corbo. Yes or no? Same. I can either take the row picture or the column picture. Which one do you like? Let us take the row picture. It is better here. So V one into V one V one into V two dot 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 V one into V n. Right. Similarly. V two into V one, V two into V two, V two into V n, right? V n into V one, into V n into V n. Yes or no? अच्छा मोइना दा. Yes. हाँ मैं बोल. Column space है तो dimension one go. Yes. It's that's why it's called a rank one matrix. Oh. Do you see that if I take this as the pivot, I can remove all of these. Because this is just the linear combination of the rows, right? Same row is there first. So if I write this as, you can write this as a row vector R. So this matrix is V1 times R, V2 times R, V3 and Vn times R, right? So this is nothing but n vectors on the same line, correct? 
Pujish. Ha, uh, yes. So this is how. What will be the rank? Rank of VV transpose will be one. Very, very, very famous question. What is the rank of this? Okay, that's a side note. Now, what are the properties of projection matrices? Let us think geometrically first, and then we'll go to more involved questions. Like once you project a vector u onto this line, say this is p u, I project it. If I multiply another p, what will happen? What should happen geometrically? This is u, this is v, and the p matrix p projects from projects into v. What will happen? Like we should get the value only, p u only. P only or u only? P u only. You are saying? Yes, p u only. Why? What is the logic? Because we are projecting a vector on it, so the same vector. Exactly. Only comes. So cos theta is equal to one, right? Theta equal to zero. So it ideally should be p of p u should be equal to p u, right? Yes or no? Ah, uh, yes. So this is math. Geometrically, I have already shown. Let me let us show show this for this vector. What is the p vector for us? V V transpose by. So I will use the p of p u ta or p u. P u. Once you have projected onto the V, ah. how many times ever you you project again, it will still be the same vector, na? Acha. So means uh, p square equal to p. Exactly. That's why p square equal to p. P to the power n is equal to p. <coughs> Let us see this. So p square is equal to v, v transpose by. This is equal to v, v transpose v. Match hello. Yes or no? Agreed. Ah uh, yes yes. Similarly, p transpose is equal to p. It doesn't matter. Ideally, if you take a transpose, you should always come back and plot onto the same plane. Like you, any v should be projecting yeah, onto the same thing. Ball. Just an observation. I mean, ah 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 ah. Talk to me. Jaun no no observation. No. Observation. I am very happy. If it is not a lame question, I am happy. But lame questions also, I am happy. Go ahead. Peta orthogonal. No. How? P transpose P equal to I. Where is it? P transpose P equal to I. Oh, oh, nah. oh. Again, P transpose P is equal to P. P. Sorry, sorry, sorry. P is rank one. Inverse does not exist. Ah, okay. P transpose P, P is. P. It is symmetric. It is symmetric. P transpose you can just take. The transpose of this transpose of V V transpose is equal to V transpose whole transpose V transpose, which is equal to V trans V V transpose, right? Okay, sir. Another yes. one more question: What is the uh, means geometrical uh, view of transpose? Some row vector of, of, of set of of a of any vector, say row vector or column vector. Geometric view one. I thought that that's how geometric view we got along. It's just a vector. No, geometrically, so how change could change? But after you project it, you are saying, or just any vector. Any vector, any vector. Any vector. You mean what? What does geometrically this mean? And V1, it's V2. transpose. How does this? How does? How does it no, change? No, no. Then you are saying V and V transpose. What is the difference, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. No difference. It depends on how you are plotting it, because when you are doing the geometry, 
it doesn't matter if you write one comma two or one comma two like this. This just means the same thing, na? Means the same vector. Acha, and in this question, how P T and P are same? That thing you please repeat once. I couldn't. How P T are? P are same geometrically. You said geometrically. Geometrically, <clears throat> like directly from this picture, you are saying. Let me just think. And like you said to... that. You no, said no, I was just saying now that... on a different different thing, right? I was I was just saying that you transpose. Shouldn't matter. So between U and V, right? This is just projecting U and V. Yes or no? You want to V, right? Ah, uh, yes. So the idea is, if you are projecting U want to V, you can do it both ways, right? So some U transpose P transpose should also be your V transpose. That's the idea, right? Acha, yes, yes. It, it should not matter which side you are projecting, as a row vector or a column vector. So this P transport should also be equal to P, right? Okay, that. understood, understood. <laughs> Good. So let us see a few more examples, and then we can stop. Other is the orthogonal matrices or matrices which which all the columns are perpendicular to one another. This is Partho's favorite matrices, orthonormal matrices. In orthogonal matrices, you need not have. So there are two cl classes of these matrices, gonal and normal. We will only deal with normal. You can convert the orthogonal matrices to orthonormal by just by how will you convert? So the definition of orthogonal matrices is, say you have a Q matrix as Q1, Q2, dot, 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 Qn, Q1 transpose Q, Qi transpose Qj is equal to zero for all i not equal to zero. Because and Qi transpose Qi, as you know, is the mod i square, right? If this is one, it is orthonormal. Else, orthogonal. Okay, clear. You mean basically unit vector hole orthonormal unit vectors are orthogonal non unit vectors. Okay. Till now, any questions? All columns. Are perpendicular. At example, the Amage, identity. What O3, what is the identity matrix actually? Acha like you need vectors along the Cartesian components. They are unit vectors and also they are perpendicular, right, to one another. Ah, yes. They are unit vectors and also, also perpendicular. Okay, so let us prove few few properties, and then you uh, will like. The gonal part, it. can you say orthogonal part? Orthogonal hole the eta. Eta auto orthogonal. Eta auto orthogonal matrix. Neki. If I ekono ah, ashe ni. Yes. This is too high, Monica. Diagonal gonna solve. This is orthogonal. Hey, nah. I just mod the one hobbin. It too. Mod the one hobbin. When it's all physics and motoni paper. When in physics, what happens is we know generally like unit vectors. Mat in the matrices also, it's easy to deal with unit vectors because they are good in nature. Let us see one very interesting property. Can you know it Show that orthonormal matrices only perform rotation, but no scaling of vectors. This is the I thought I'll do it at the end, but I'll do it at the beginning to give you more geometric idea. What does this mean? 
show that orthonormal matrices perform only rotation and not any scaling of vectors. How can I show that? How to show? Any ideas? Like A into Q, can you? A into Q na ekta vector ne bodai thevol chis Q x. Let x uh -huh. be r to the power n. Q is in r to the power n cross n. Always orthogonal orthonormal vectors must be a square matrix, right? Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. We'll see why. It need not be, of course. Like it can be m cross n, but yeah, still can be. It need not be. Let us consider square matrices. It can still be in orthogonal vectors. It need not be always square. Okay. So Q X, if I have all, we can put modulo on both sides. Modulo means both is mod 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 value means length 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 value. Means norm norm value. Modulo is a bit different. Division mod value both is. Right? No, no. It's like that. हाँ मैगनी So now what will I do? <clears throat> so I Q will X. just show that the length of x after multiplying with q x remains the same. Good, but how will so I show? Let's see, q trans q x trans. This is the same as this. Yes or no? Yes. The norm of the norm of L two norm of q x is q x transpose q x. Yes or no? Q x yes, is a yes. vector. Q x. So this is nothing but so x transpose q, q x transpose, transpose q. Uh, q transpose q x. This is i. Hence the dimension, it remains the same, right? The magnitude remains the same. Remains same, only direction changes. Only rotation. Clear? Ah uh, yes. Okay. So we have already seen Q transpose Q is equal to one. Have we? We have not seen. Let us see Q transpose Q equal to one. You got to see how Q transpose Q equal to one. Q one, Q two, dot 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 Q n, Q one. Q to Q n. ठीक अच्छा इटा. What is this matrix? You can multiply like your school days for this matrix. One square Q one Q two. This is your Q module. This is your Q one. Yes or no? Norm of Q one. The one 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 element. Yes or no? Mm, yes. Similarly, all diagonal elements will be. Yes or no? Or you can and rest will yep. be zero. You can you can simply show this this way. Q transpose Q i j th element. What does this mean? If you are, this is very useful when you have to prove. 
properties of matrices, you can also show it like a computer program does. So Q transpose Q of the IJ element means QI transpose QJ, tick na full, I yet row yes. and the J column, which is equal to zero if for all I not equal to J. Hmm. One otherwise. So we have proved this also. The last thing of this we want to prove is it is a pool rank matrix. Prove that rank of QN is equal to N. How do I prove it? Any idea? So uh, because Q <laughs> transpose Q equals to I, the mm -hmm. determinant of Q will be equals to one. And so mm. since all this uh, suppose... determinant, determinant, I have not taught yet. You cannot use determinant. Okay, determinant is determinant of Q transpose Q, you said, is equal to determinant, determinant of Q transpose of Q squared. Uh, you are saying this, right? Is equal to one. Yes. Okay. But I am not happy with this. Frankly speaking. This is the right answer, but I'm not happy. I want to show it as linear combinations. How do I show? Way one is right. He told me one way. Tell me the way I like. Like Achha, they are okay. perpendicular vectors. So huh? we can take them as basis vectors and we can, but we have to, that's exactly exactly you are on the right track, but you're not telling you're just telling me the answer. You have to tell me prove it. So they are perpendicular vectors. They are perpendicular vectors. Need Linear to show independent exactly need to show they are Haan, they are basis like... span is okay just need to show independent right how will i show q1 lambda 1 lambda 2 q2 lambda n q n equal to 0 by contradiction okay if not independent Clear? Yes. What will I do next? Very simple. You should be able to see this and tell me this is this is not difficult at all. A little bit of manipulative. Ball. And we multiply this again. This pluta kurta bana jekono acta the multiply kor. Putati kola hobe, tiki polichis. Putakola agbari hoya. Puta kurta to bull of stave lomba lagwe at a chota kore bulls. Choto kore wall ki korbo. Tere ek dar tika totai kori cha. Lambda one Q one. Very good. Tere ek baray pulo ta ek baray bola diye si. Very good. Lambda n Q n. Transpose. Eta bola si sto. This is what you are saying. Ha ha ha. Yes. What will I get from this? I will get lambda one Q one squared. Plus lambda 2 q2 squared dot 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 lambda n qn squared and rest all will be zero. Yes or no? Lambda 1 squared have a nota? Tiki Volachish. Everybody is right. Vahiguna zero. So what does this mean? Lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 dot 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 lambda n equal to zero. Zero. Yes. The squares are all equal to one. So lambda one square plus lambda two square dot or lambda n square is equal to zero only when only when they are individually zero. Hence proved. One more Hello. nice question I'll go in this time. Oh all except the square uh, zero hai galo are yes. Norm gulo holo one since it is ortho normal. Uh, so yes. lambda one square kore equals to zero to it a hobe only when each of them are zero, hence they are independent. Done. Good. 
राइट Just independence guarantees everything because it's a matrix at the end of the day, right? Always it may not be guaranteed. Just keep an eye out. Make two um, basis vectors orthogonal. Go Gram-Schmidt algorithm. This Gram-Schmidt algorithm also was done very extensively last time. But I'll give you the overall idea. I'll solve this question. And if you if you really want to like really know the Algorithm as a for loop. Go back and see the video. Should be there in the previous course. Full algorithm. But I'll do this question. I think after that you can just make write the algorithm yourself. So it said that you have two vectors, v1 and v2. V1 is one comma two. V2 is zero comma one. You have to make these vectors orthogonal. How can you make them orthogonal? Is my question. We'll Project see more them here. along R two already orthogonal vectors, I guess. But that is very difficult now. Which which orthogonal vectors will you take? Like you if I not... take the axis hmm. vectors, and then it is so trivial. Not. Then the trivial only. And I don't want. I want to keep information of these vectors intact. I don't want to convert them into Cartesian vectors. I have zero comma one, one comma two, one comma two. And zero comma one, right? These two are my vectors, v one and v two. My question is, I need to convert them into two orthogonal vectors. How can I do that? So V two is one comma two, and V one is zero comma one. Yes or no? Let me just see. Yes. Yes. How do I, how do I convert it? So either with the angular, once I get the estimate, I have to see that how much Good. it is away from being a Right angle, so I can if I or can. Or I extend, can use projection. Can... That's why I taught projection, na? Projection problem ta kano? Who was on the problem? Can I project kore di? Let's take this example. This is your projection matrix into U. Yes or no? If this is your U, this is your V, this is your projection matrix into U. Correct? Yes. So. And this is equal to error vector is nothing but u minus pu, right? Yes or no? Yes. So I can just do this operation and I can convert it into perfect perpendicular. This is also useful in finding out orthogonalized regression models, where you remove effects of one parameter and then predict on with other parameters. Where you just will will see later on. अच्छा अच्छा ये होलोटिक बुझ लाम ना माने इटा e टके माने i minus p u कोड दिले since e is orthogonal to v and will we project e is u what? along that u with minus e. p u right? P U uh -huh. is this we just pre proved. Ha, so ota to e, mane. Ha, e plus P U is equal to U. So e. Ha ha, e ta clear. Ha, so ne kisi ko unclear hai chhe. Ha. Aaj project kora dekha chhe, kor kor. Ha, mane ebara jinish ta hobe kije, mane mane do we have to 
project u along e it depends so let we what we'll do is let us select a starting vector for non triviality let us select this as a starting vector okay let us so we want something like this so we want something like this okay we yes. we want this so we will have to remove the perpendicular coordinates whatever we have so how do i remove it mane ki bolle bujhte parlam na so if i have one vector v2 this is my v2 okay let me write this as v1 and this as v2 i will keep my v1 fixed i don't need to change v1 right do i need to change v1 because it's the first like vector i can v1 make... and e will become the orthogonal Good. matrix so v1 and e will become the orthogonal matrix let us see so what is the projection matrix it is v1 v1 transpose by root 5 yes or no or just 5 1 comma 2 2 comma 4 yes or no am i right yes 1 2 am <coughs> i am right so projection matrix i got so my error vector will be what p into uh, v2 p into v2 p into So I will do v two is zero one minus p into zero one, right? Yes. Yes or no? Ah uh, yes. So this will be i minus p into zero one. Agreed? Yes. Which is equal to. One zero zero one minus one by five, four by five, two by five, two by five into zero one, which is four by five minus two by five minus two by five and One by five, zero one. Short code will be followed. What will be minus two by five and one by five, right? Minus two comma one, right? This is how you find orthogonal vectors. In my coordinates, you replace them and multiply one by the negative. Yes or no? Yes. Minus two one. So if you have multiple vectors like this, what will you do? That is the Gram-Schmidt algorithm. So if say you have v1, v2, v3, what will you do? We will affix any one, and then fix one. V1 fixed, convert it into a unit vector. Unit vector. Yes. I just want unit. So I will do v1 by Okay, so this, let us write this as final vector f one. Okay, and then remove part of f one from v two. Correct? Am I audible? So I will do v two minus. Why this? If that's what I did, na? V one is there. This is V two. 
simply and this is did i write the thing correctly just give me a moment it is it should be f1 right sorry f2 minus f1 transpose v3 into f1 clear i am removing all the components of all the rest of the vectors so i will be left with the only the perpendicular to the plane of the remainder next to so i just keep on doing this for n i remove keep on removing the last n minus 1 basis right acha mane ei je remove kore kore ki amra e gulo pacchi exactly you are getting e's right so one this is nothing but the e of both of these right i have removed first i'll remove from x so let us take this figure i have this vector okay so let me think that this x and y x coordinate y coordinate i just remove it i am projecting it onto the x coordinate so i remove the x coordinate i reproject onto y remove the y coordinate what would i be left with i would be just left with the z coordinate yes or no projected onto y oh acha Project yes. onto all the previous coordinates independent orders and remove those parts. So you will be left with only the errors that are remaining. Huh? Yes, definitely. Non-overlapping coordinate. Yes. Fine, fine, clear. If you are, if you want like a more detailed algorithm, you can go and check the previous one. Okay. So we'll stop today with. Uh, two things two uh, last two things i'll just take it in uh, go and then see this thing will prove next day remind me trace of an idempotent matrix is equal to its rank we'll have to prove this the very important very nice property what is an idempotent matrix just to let you know because these are generally not they don't have scope of directly being asked but they can be used as words keywords in the question so idempotent matrix is it means it itself the same that is a projection matrix okay p square equal to p is an idempotent matrix okay any matrix which is a p square equal to p so let for example p projection matrix then identity matrix all these are then symmetric matrix well, not symmetric symmetric cannot be symmetric so p is a square variable uh, okay is this okay Projection matrix and identity matrices. Okay, idempotent matrix means p square equal to p. 
I have a nice, so you, you can prove this, verify this is done, verified. Do verification for this. So you will do this as homework. This, uh, so what is the, uh, what is the trace of this matrix? Do you agree this is an highly important matrix? I square equal to I? Are you, uh, huh. I have got a solution with me. I'm Polvo means I don't, approved. No, 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 no. Is it with eigenvalues and eigenvectors? No. Oh, no, I don't want a solution then. I will do it next time when a very nice proof is there. I have done that proof. Which is without uh, eigenvalues or eigenvectors. I am I am a bit, I, I would be interested to listen to it once we do it next time. First, let us keep it verified and keep your proof ready. We can do it next time. So, because the eigenvalues, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, I want to use this as an example. So I square equal to I. What is the rank of I? Rank of I? N. Uh, three. Yes. Here. Three. N, uh, three. Kind of three. Trace of I? Three. Trace of I? Check for this. Check this. P square value. Check P square. And this is your homework. And it will be equal to P. I'm telling you. But trace, what is the trace value? Two. Trace is two. What is the rank? Just check once. <coughs> we can do elimination. Two, zero, zero. Half, I have multiplied. Minus two. Two. Minus one, minus four, minus two, or rather two, minus one, right? Rank one or not? Two, zero, zero, minus two, two, zero, minus four, two, zero. Rank two? Correct. Yes. Okay. So we can we can also show that I minus P is an idempotent matrix. How do you show that? I minus two I minus P is an idempotent matrix. How can you show it? Like I minus P into I minus P. What will it be? I minus P minus P plus P square, right? Ah, uh, yes. What is P square? P again, so I minus P. <coughs> what does this mean? It means the very simple thing. This means when I project P gives me P co the cos theta value and I minus P gives me the U sin theta value, right? The magnitude of this. Yes or no? So this is also I minus P is also a projection matrix. Understood? This is why I wanted to show the idempotent matrix that put everything together. Achha, I minus yes. I minus P is the sine theta component. P is the cos theta component. Okay, so last thing will uh, will continue from here next class. So nil potent matrices are n k is equal to zero, and partition matrices. I will just re revise these and then begin with uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So these are nothing. It will take five minutes, two minutes. I can even stop. Uh, like do this now, but I don't want to try. I'm a bit tired. We'll stop here. And uh, because these nil potent matrices are just definitions, and partition matrices we have already done, right? So partition matrices are 
already done for us because for lock matrices they are the ones that we have been using in elimination so i'll stop recording and then i can take questions